viewers welcome to gadget docket today in this section let me tell you how to use windows movie maker 2.6 software this windows movie maker is a software that enables you to edit and make videos so go to start menu and select windows movie maker 2.6 this is how the main page of windows movie maker 2.6 looks like it has three sections the top one here which i am showing now is a section that i enables you to import pictures videos and music files for your project and the bottom section here enables you to arrange these files which you have imported in a proper sequence so that you can make your movie better it also allows you to trim your movie etc and the section here the black one is a preview section where you can see how your movie has come out so let's begin with importing some pictures into our project i'm clicking on import pictures so from this location select the area where you have saved your pictures i have saved some of my pictures in my computer d folder and here it is sample picture from this select the picture which you want to use in your project and click import now i need all the pictures in this folder so i am selecting control plus a this will enable you to select all the pictures in this folder and now i am clicking on import so that i get all the pictures imported now it's time to add pictures into our project it is very simple you need to just click on the picture and drag it and drop it here on each slide you can have one picture in this way you can add any number of pictures into your project once it is done now let's see how to add a music file a background music to this video so i am clicking on import audio or music the same way you need to select the location where you have saved the music file so i have saved it on d folder again on my computer d folder song select any of the song so i am selecting uh, this file so it gets imported whenever you need to uh, add a music file into your project it is always better to have a timeline view see here here you can see two views the view which you are uh, seeing now is a storyboard view let's switch over to timeline view for the click here now drag the music and drop it in audio and music section now it's done again if you want to add a picture or a video it is better to have a storyboard view because in the storyboard view it is easy and uh, comfortable for us to add picture or videos once it is done let's see the preview how it works but apart from this you can also add some effects and transitions to your slide here for that click on view video effects so these are all some of the default effects which are available in windows movie maker 2.6 as usual click on the effect and drop it on the star icon here likewise you can add any number of effects to a single slide itself once the effect is added you can see the star icon getting blue so this indicates that the effect is added to your picture and here you can see there are two star icons which means there are two effects added for this single slide similarly you can also add video transition for that click on the transition effect and add it in between the slides now we shall see the preview how it works you can see the effect it gets zoomed out and the circling effect
so that's it viewers apart from this this windows movie waymaker also allows you to add titles and credits to your video and it also allows you to record your own voice at the background to know all about this watch our windows movie maker part 2 video until then it's bye from gadget